What up guys, this is Cubs here, and it's Sunday. No mustache. Uh, so yeah, today, it's gonna be Sunday fun day. Uh, welcome back to another, another edition of Flavor Strainer. So, I'm using a new recorder. Uh, this is my travel recorder, so hopefully it sounds good. Need your guys' opinion. Uh, also, my door closed all the way. They're fucking loud out there. Sorry. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I've got a mod coming up soon. Actually, three reviews, three different mods. Uh, one's a box mod, one's a tube mechanical and one is a beginner mod but I mean it's still something right uh, I need your guys's help so in order to get that help I'm gonna do a big ass juice giveaway when I say big ass it is a big ass bottle of juice soon not today but soon So let's go ahead and jump into it. Today's juice is Slim's E-Juice. Slim has a website. Guess where it's going to be located? Right below. And, uh, yeah, so he's got a website. And I'm going by the seat of my pants today. I'm going to try to guess these without... Uh, the use of the website for all the flavors. I've got eight flavors here. So uh, if I cut out, it's probably because I had to change out cotton. So here's the first one. So Slim's E-Juice. E this is peach. Peach. That's it, just peach. It's not a candy peach. It's not those little peachos. It's a fake peach flavor. But I actually enjoy that fake peach flavor. It's not bad at all, and great flavor. Uh, this particular one, Grey Clouds, there's not a lot of throat hit. I'm running this one at 60 watts. Uh, this is a 0.15 build. Actually, it's a little bit higher than that, 0.1 something. Uh, you know, this particular juice... I don't know, notice gunking, but there's another one that I'll get into later. Um, it gunked up my coils less than a day, like done. And I'll show you guys. So for now, uh, Slim Z Juice, what do we got to say about this? I got big 30 mil bottles, cap on, still leaks if you squeeze it. That's cap, like cranked down. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but that's air escaping. Air escaping means if this is squeezed and it's on its side, you're going to get juice somewhere. Secondly, uh, the printed labels, they write on the labels what the flavors are. If you get it in your pocket all day or if you're juicing it all day, flavor, oh, I'm showing you, the, I'm showing my microphone the juice. Uh, I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, no more label. It has the label, but it doesn't have the flavor anymore. So I'd be at a, a loss as to what this is. Uh, the label is like a home printed one. It's on kind of a shiny sticker, and when they print on it, it actually, like, wipes off and scratches very easily. I can... Scratch it to high hell. Wouldn't even know what the company is at that point. 
I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's all over. Anyways, their peach. I love their peach. It's a fake peach. Great flavor. You guys should definitely check it out. Uh, there's some other flavors that I'm not too fond of, but we'll get into that. So this next one. This is butterscotch slash caramel. Now, uh, I don't know what it is. It's either butterscotch or it's caramel. But it's a good flavor. I enjoyed it so much I was vaping it all day yesterday. However, this is the one that I ended up gunking up. And one day, it's got a good, good thick layer of charcoal on the coil, basically, from... from vaping. There it goes. Uh, it's to be expected, really. Uh, I wasn't happy with the gunking. I loved the flavor, but the the it kind of goes with the territory. If you got a sweet vape, you're gonna get gunking of the coils. It happens. Uh, less sweetener, uh, it could be the, the flavor itself, but for the most part, I mean, what are you going to do? This probably would not make people f that use bottom-fed coils, pro tanks, Nautilus, stuff like that, very happy because you're going to burn through your tank in a heartbeat or your coil in a heartbeat. But people that rebuild and they do it on a regular basis, you know, use a lower heat. It's going to last a little bit longer, uh, lower wattage. It's going to last a little bit longer. It's got great flavor. Caramel, butterscotch, kind of a blend between the two. It's a badass juice. I enjoyed it. It's not a premium juice. It's not a fancy $30 bottle premium juice, but it's a good juice, good flavor. Cost-wise compared to flavor, it's something that you can actually go out and enjoy for a bit and not be heartbroken if you happen to get a bad juice. Um, gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Where are we at? What time here? Only eight minutes. Uh, okay. So I got about a minute or two and then I had to switch over, stop this one, stop the recording. Mm. So dreams, sweet dreams. I vaped on this a bit, and I honestly think, oh, here, let's put some juice on here and try it again. Uh, I honestly think that Sweet Dreams is a pina colada flavor. I get the coconut. I think I get the pineapple. Either way, if you like pineapple, if you like coconut, or or if you like coconut and if you like uh, like sweet juices, it's not bad. Again, not bad at, bad at all. It's not a premium line. This isn't freaking mother's milk or freaking cottonwood. Cottonwood? I don't even think I... I think I have one juice from cottonwood that I haven't even tried yet. Uh, you know, it's not mother's milk. It's not a premium line once again, but not bad flavor. The only drawback for this... This particular flavor leaves a bitter aftertaste on the side of the tongue uh, similar to if you do wine at all uh, if you drink wine you would know that bitterness it's the tannins here let me pour another one cleansing my palate that's my excuse by the way this is 
almost a hundred proof each shot, and I've had a bunch of them. I'm vaping this on my, uh, I don't even know what this is, Akuma? My Akuma that I won from I Puff and Play. Uh, they had a contest. It's the only time I've actually won a contest. It's honestly not that bad. If you're vaping it all day as like your all day vape, you're not going to know that. Notice the aftertaste because you're never going to set it down. Um, I enjoyed it. I've had other pina colada flavors that are much, much, much better, higher end. Um, but those are also pina colada flavors where I'm going to pay almost double the price for the same size. So um, the price comparison for the flavor and for the price, if you're a budget vapor, you know, it's pretty pretty decent for a budget vape. So yeah, the Sweet Dreams, it's a good vape. It, for the price point, for the flavor, you know, it's not bad. It's not a horrible, it doesn't taste bad. So I'm not going to say, oh, don't try this. Uh, you guys know that like when I, when I think something tastes really bad and it's not even worth it, then... You know, you're welcome to try it, but it's not something that I would suggest to people. This one, vaping on a budget, flavor-wise, pretty decent. Not bad. No complaints. Well, there were some, but nothing notable. All right. This one, I don't know. I'm on the fence with this one. That's probably China right there. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. So on my variable, on my 100 watt, uh, I didn't enjoy it this much or that much. This is a 0.15 build. I haven't cleaned this mod and like degunked it in a while. So I got lots of dead spots, but overall, uh, this flavor is called gummy candy. It's not gummy bears, it's not gummy worms. It's not, uh, yeah, gummy gums. It's gummy candy. I can tell you when you get the flavor and you, and it's spot on, you give it a nice shake, you drip it and you get the gummy candy flavor. It's spot on. It's, <coughs> it's so spot on. It tastes just like carnauba wax. You get the hint of the flavor, and then you get carnauba wax. If you don't know what carnauba wax is, carnauba wax is what they put on candy, gummy worms and gummy bears that prevent it from sticking together. It's that kind of greasy, filmy type uh, stuff on there. But they got the carnauba wax down pat, and it's kind of like an off-brand gummy bear. The flavors aren't super strong, but the flavors are there. But you tend to have that carnival wax flavor. Now, if you just lick a gummy bear and you don't bite in, into it, that's what you get, just carnival wax. And unfortunately, that's the aftertaste that you get too, carnival wax. I taste it. I taste as if I ate a handful of gummy bears and now... I've just swished them around in my mouth just to get the wax off of them, spit them out, and now it's just that waxy, yeah. It's not so much the texture, it's the flavor. If you're familiar with your candy, I'm 
being a fat guy and familiar with candy and many other foods. Uh, I'm very familiar with carnauba wax as the coating. So if you don't mind that, it's awesome. I actually think this might work really well with a coil system. Uh, just because you can get lower, it's a, a cooler vape, it's going to work a lot better most likely. You're going to get the more of the sweeter tones as opposed to the carnauba wax. The, the dripping system, I don't think it's pulling it off this time for this particular flavor. Alright guys, I'm going to find my little butt crease again. Otherwise I'm going to be out of focus. Alright, I think I'm there. So, I'm back. Let me grab my drink. It's Centauri time. Shit. Oh. If nobody has ever had a uh, Sailor Jerry spiced rum, it's pretty fucking awesome. I was having issues with a juice a minute ago. I wanted to love it so much, but I couldn't taste it. So as an added precaution, I feel like I'm sniffing paint or something. Oh, I'm so fucked up. Yeah, don't mind me guys, sorry. Oh. Am I recording audio? I hope so. I hope I clapped. Clap, clap. Fuck. All right. So. That's probably Scott. Oh. Scott Madeira. I'm recording this while we're chatting. And I hope you find something to do. By the way, I'm missing myself. It's Sunday evening. I'm missing... Walking Dead to make this video. Just saying, I love you guys that much. I'm willing to miss Walking Dead for you. So back to Slim's E-Juice. Here's the other four flavors. This is a, a vanilla custard. I've had custards. Custards are very popular. Uh, I prefer the really buttery ones. This one is not so much buttery, but it does have a hint of vanilla. It's a very smooth custard. Uh, I don't know who that was. It was probably China that time. But uh, yeah, it's a, a smooth custard. It's a great flavor. Uh, if you're breaking into custards, this is a great place to stop. Uh, so I looked up the price because I forgot in the last part of the video, but I reminded myself for 30 milliliters, it's 10 bucks. I mean, comparably, uh, you know, I've paid $30 for a 15 milliliter bottle of juice. That was shit. So, uh, yeah, comparably, it's not bad at all. A Slimsy juice. Vanilla custard, not too bad. You're going to lose a lot, though, in a tank. There's another flavor coming up right now of Slim Z juice that you're going to lose a lot of uh, if you do it in a tank. But here's one. This one I was very pleasantly surprised about. Got a new build. I was pressed for time, so it's only a single coil. Nothing crazy, not a parallel or anything freaking box, it's just a, where it's parallel, not in sequence, right? I think so, I don't know. Parallel. Not a bad box. Mm. But this flavor 
I was very pleasantly surprised about this one. This is the Mocha Frappuccino. And all you college girls out there with your Ugg boots and freaking leggings know what a freaking Mocha Frappuccino is. And I know you love that shit. So, yesterday, by yesterday I mean uh, the last video I did uh, was a coffee with Kahlua and Kiwi. And, uh, you know, it, was, it just wasn't that good, in all honesty. This coffee flavor, there's only been one other coffee flavor where I was head over hills ready to drop my pants for. Uh, this particular one, it's a mocha fucking frappuccino. It is a mocha frappuccino, and it's delicious. It's really fucking good. Now, if I could get that intravenous with actual caffeine and nicotine, I'd be in heaven. So, yeah, mocha frappuccino. I mean, it's mocha frappuccino. I don't have to explain anything. You know what a mocha frappuccino is. It's coffee. It's sweet. It's creamy. Um... Uh, this particular one is decent vape. If I threw it on my variable, let's go ahead and try that right now. Crank out some more power on it. By the way, guys, I'm going to do a review. Son of a gun. I'm going to do a review, and in said review, I'm drunk still, by the way, if you don't remember. Instead of review, I'm going to be rocking these SIG S's. SIG S is done by Sigeli. And I love these fuckers, man. The, the notches in the posts, which is always a, a big deal because not all companies make big ass notches. They're huge. They put the stopper post so that way when you crank it down, you don't cut off the, the line, the... Uh, the wire and so you don't have a fucked up connection they're awesome and they're only five bucks so you know retail it's probably gonna be about ten bucks but you know that's still double a or more but you know a nice retail shop would have them about ten bucks and it's well worth it heavy duty I threw one of these across the parking lot everything's fine except the top cap and I'm not too sad about it it still fits I just don't need a uh, o-ring anymore that's fucking delicious it's so fucking delicious i'm sad that these are zero nick because i have no use for zero nicotine i vaped it all yes yesterday and was eating food left and right and constantly and i couldn't figure out why and i wanted a cigarette so bad and then i realized it was zero nicotine so A local gentleman asked to pick these up. He's a little down on his luck right now. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and send him over today. I'm boxing him up, and that's why I'm doing the video right this moment. So, yeah. Uh, this mocha frappuccino is badass. This, if you like coffee flavors, you have to try this flavor. I mean, it's... For the price, again, for the price and the flavor, this is one of my favorites. The next one is cotton candy. So cotton candy, I was having issues. I had to get a big old whiff of my Dunkin' Donuts cold bean coffee. And hopefully after vaping the wonderful mocha frappuccino, it'll reset my taste buds and my nose all together. So I love cotton candy. I have a weird obsession with cotton candy. I love it. I love the smell of it. Uh, men had a wonderful cologne. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, it was cotton candy based 
smell. So you got cotton candy and then you got manly smells like cotton candy. And then uh, they also had it for women. But they have since gone out of business or don't offer that anymore. Anyways, I love cotton candy. I did a review of Beard Vape Juice, a vape company, recently. And uh, their hibiscus cotton candy flavor was the shit. This cotton candy flavor. Cotton candy, it's more of a smell than it is a flavor when it comes to juice. Cotton candy is a really hard hard flavor to reproduce. I'm sure you've tried a cotton candy uh, sucker. So a cotton candy sucker, you're going to get just a hint of the actual cotton candy and then you're going to get just sweet. Cotton candy has a very distinct flavor. It's a little caramelized. Um, it's... I can't even explain it. Uh, the way it works is they heat up the candy to a melting point and they blow it out of a hole to make strings of, of fluffiness. To reproduce that because the way the chemical compound and, and the way it is all made, it's all fake. It's all fake flavors. But considering, without it being overly sweet, overly cotton candy fake, you know, fake cotton candy flavor, uh, a Slim Z juice, I mean, it is only a cotton candy flavor. There's no additional flavors to it. So I will give you uh, my best my best regards, my best, my best review for this candy, cotton candy flavor so far. It is, as a strict, just cotton candy flavor, it is the best cotton candy flavor I've had.